In this problem, we're driving from point A to point B, and we start out going at a speed of 95 kilometers per hour, and then after a time, we slow it down to a speed of 65 kilometers per hour. And the problem tells us that we're going 95 for 180 kilometers, but the problem does not tell us how uh, far we travel when we're going for when we're going 65. But it does tell us that our total time, so t total, is 4.5 hours. Now what's interesting and also kind of tricky about this problem is that there are sort of two phases to the motion here. The first phase when we're going 95, and the second phase when we're going 65. So if we want to solve this problem, we want to figure out what some of the other unknowns is, but for each phase. So I've labeled phase 1 to be 95 and phase 2 to be 65. And I've labeled the rest of the information as shown here. Now part A asks us to figure out the total distance. So to figure out the total distance, let's first go over the equations we have. So we know speed is equal to distance over time, which algebraically tells us that time is equal to distance over speed, and that distance is equal to speed times time. So first let's figure out the amount of time we spend in phase one. So using this time equation right here, taking d over v, dividing 180 kilometers by 95 kilometers per hour, we find a time, so t1, of about 1.895 hours. Now because we know that the total time is 4.5 hours, we can take this total time and subtract t1 to find that t2, the amount of time we spend in phase 2, to be equal to 2.605 hours. So now that we know that, then we can use this distance equation here to solve for d2. Uh, so we multiply the speed by the time, and we find a distance here of about 169.3 kilometers. So now, part A asks for the total distance traveled, so all we need to do for that is take d1 and add d2. So we take 180 kilometers and add 169.3 kilometers. And if we do that, then we get a distance of about 349.3 kilometers, appro approximately that. So that is our answer to part A. Now part B asks for the average speed throughout the whole motion. Now, do now don't be deceived here. A very common mistake that people make is they think they can just take the two speeds and just take the average of those two speeds. Like, at, take 95 plus 65 and then divide that by 2. That doesn't work here because the car spends more time going 65 than it spends going 95. So the average should actually be closer to 65 to 95 rather than being right in between. So in actuality, we should just use the standard definition for average speed. The total distance, d tote, divided by the total time. And as we established in part A, the total distance is about 349.3 kilometers, and the total time is given to us as 4.5 hours. So putting this into our calculator, we find an average speed of about 77.62 kilometers per hour. And that is the average speed. So that's all for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as that'll help me make more videos like this. But if you have any questions, leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to help you out as best I can. If you have a request for a future video, or you just want to hang out, my Discord server and my Twitch page are both linked in the description down below. So check those out if you'd like. But that's all for now, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.